What's up, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of We Sibs West Coast, East Coast Siblings. Today, I'm going to be talking about Annabelle Comes Home, which I went to go see over the holiday weekend. And I honestly got to say, I don't know what's going on in the franchise anymore. Hopefully, they don't continue with this direction. I didn't find it scary. In fact, I actually found it comical in some instances. I didn't like the movie. I thought it was one of the worst, if not the worst, in the franchise. But let me give a spoiler warning before I jump into more details. So, spoilers. So, yeah, I'm actually not sure what they were trying to do with this movie. Perhaps they were trying to set a lighter tone but it actually just wasn't scary at all the previous movies were actually decently scary i definitely recall checking under the bed and in the closets after seeing one of those movies but not with this one i actually slept like a baby didn't even seem to be trying to be scary it was almost funny now my issue was i didn't see enough annabelle in action during the movie and I guess I should have seen that coming because all the advertising was saying you know she's this beacon for all the other crazy mess going on but that's almost entirely what the movie was about is about other scary creatures and being sorry guys i guess they just should have made that more clear in the advertising i still didn't think it was going to be an annabelle movie but like annabelle and then all her crazy friends but no this movie was really just about all the other crazy spirits and annabelle was just like the source of it so hmm. after seeing the movie i now understand what all the ads were trying to portray but i just don't think they did a good enough job explaining to I keep hitting that as far as the story goes it takes place inside the warren's house with their daughter judy and the babysitter and the babysitter's friend. Her dad died in a car accident and she wanted to see if she could reach out to him to see if there was anything beyond. She had heard about the Warrens being crazy and so she snoops her way around, gets into their secret vault where they keep all the crazy moo -ju 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 She opens up the box and all Annabelle breaks loose. Yeah, things are going good. They're setting things up. They're setting things up. And then, um, they, then they set things up and just keep setting things up so honestly the, the whole movie feels like it never gets going you know the typical pattern you hear something what's that you go to investigate right when you think you'll see something you see nothing you calm down you turn around and bah! well i can't tell you how many of these moments they had where they did all that but there was no scare and this happened like like 30 seconds apart from each other in rapid fire like uh maybe midway through the movie and i was just like is this movie gonna start? The movie was too funny, and I don't think they portrayed that in the advertising so that I would know, hey, this is a lighter, like, funnier take on the Annabelle franchise. Don't expect to be, like, leaving your nightlight on. But this was definitely a new direction and a new tone for the movie that they just didn't explain in the advertising. Nowhere near scary. It was nowhere near scary. The whole movie was presented as like Annabelle and friends, but it was really just friends. And for the record, I don't like these negative reviews because I know the last one I did on Toy Story, I didn't really like that movie either. But I don't know, maybe I'm on a bad streak. The last two movies I've seen, I haven't really liked. Now I'm planning to see Spider-Man Far From Far Far From Home, Far From Far Far From Home. How many Fars is in it? Anyway, I plan to see that very soon. Look for a review on that coming out soon as well. Also today on the Latter Quente Ledger, the pinstripe plunge is out. So I will link to that probably here on screen or down in the description below. Be sure to check out the Sea of Music, which comes out on the Latter Quente Ledger tomorrow and Basement with Zach on Wednesday. And like I said, brand new show, the A&J Double Play comes out this Friday. So I'm excited for that. We've worked really hard. We can't wait for you to see that. So make sure you're subscribing and clicking those bells so you can find out when we drop all this great content for you guys. Make sure you like and share and subscribe. Did I say that? I said that. Also, let me know down in the comments what you thought of the movie if I'm just crazy. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.